Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be a quick bonus reading for you. It is a general reading, may or may not resonate. If you do need a personal reading, all that information is going to be down at the description box below. This could be you, this could be them. Pick your side. All right. So. <clears throat> Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands. Okay, so there is a lot of forward communication coming in. Okay, someone wants communication with you. This is you, this could be them. But someone wants a brand new start with you. Okay, this could be after things ended between you guys. You could have had a separation, a breakup, whatever it is, right? But I do see as someone wanting to communicate and coming towards you, okay, and fast pace. Eight of Wands is also traveling, so someone could be wanting to travel towards you if this is a long distance relationship. But someone wants to start all over again with a clean state. Okay, give me the Aries. What is Aries energy? What is this person's energy? I'm just, you know, I'm a bit confused. Give me this person. Give me your energies. What are Aries' energies towards this person? Queen of Wands, Five of Cups. You have a lot of regret, okay, about whatever happened in the past year. Crying over spilt milk, grieving a loss. This is regret, this is guilt, could be. But I'm getting more like you're grieving, you're crying over spilt milk, okay? You could be trying to pursue this relationship, okay? You could be wanting this person to take action towards you. I'm getting you were very passionate about this person here, okay? Once upon a time, okay? But you've lost the motivation. You've lost that um, attraction towards this person. You're not doing anything about this, okay? So yeah, clearly there was an ending here with the five of cups here. Could have had a breakup and you're still constantly focusing on what didn't go wrong, what didn't work out in the past. You know, it's a lot of um, regret, okay? This is you emotionally and energetically. You've been very um, moved by whatever happened in the past, okay? But whatever happened in the past is stopping you from taking action towards this person. Whilst this person out here is wanting to come towards you and take action, okay? They want a new beginning with you. So give me this person's energy. Give me this person's energy that Aries is dealing with. What are their energies towards Aries? You're taking a step back, Aries. Give me this person's energies towards Aries. Ah, see? Three of Pentacles in reverse with the Seven of Swords here. This person was trying to run away from commitment. This person was trying to run away from working and putting in the effort, okay? This person had lack of comp compromise, no cooperation. This person was not really a team worker, okay? You always had to do the work. That's what I said before, right? And this was someone here who was trying to run away with it. They were trying to run away from their feelings. You know, someone who has a tendency to keep come running back to you. But I'm getting someone who was not really a liar, cheater is not what I'm getting. I don't like to jump the gun. But someone who was definitely being deceptive about their intentions towards you. Okay, not like they have bad intentions, but definitely someone who was just not collaborating with you okay you guys were incompatible because you put in too much work here okay and this person was very laid back and let you do they let you do all the work okay let's see what's the um how do you view them how does aries view this person they're dealing with how do you view them Page of Cups, Six of Swords here. So you definitely view this person as someone who wants to talk to you, okay? But you do view them as someone who's very... Probably you view them as someone who wants to come towards you and apologize, okay? But with the Page of Cups, you see that you see them as someone very, very immature. At least emotionally, someone who's probably younger to you, doesn't have to be. But with the Six of Swords here, I feel... Um, you do see this person as wanting to come towards you or at least get communicating with you and move things into a better place. Tell me, how does this person view Aries? How does this person view Aries? Ha <laughs> ha. They view you as the Nine of Cups and the Devil in Reverse. They view you as someone who's their wish fulfillment, okay? But with the Nine of Cups, that's a very smug energy. So you could be dealing with someone who's very selfish, okay? Someone who focuses only their happiness. See how they're hiding the Tenth Cup here? So this person is all about themselves, okay? And for them, it's like, yes, I want you because it makes me happy. But when it comes to working together and making this ten in, Nine into the Ten of Cups, that's something that I'm not in for. So this person's not in for commitment. Someone very focused on themselves okay they realize what is important to them so yeah you are very important to them you emotionally fulfill them you're like a wish come true for them okay but with the devil in reverse here they see you as someone who's detached from them okay you're trying to detach yourself from them because this could be someone very toxic or you could have to a certain point okay in your relationship you could have been or this connection you could have been very attached to this person this person could be someone you know who was very very um how do i say this someone you were very addicted to okay but they see you breaking away okay from them because you were probably very codependent or you know you're just getting out of that temptation okay you're no longer wanting to feed into this temptation okay you're getting into a more independent energy that's how they view you 
Okay, why is all this happening? Why is all this happening? Why is all this happening? Someone's still hurting. Three of Swords and Queen of Pentacles. Here. Yeah, you're hurt over this person here for the Three of Swords and Queen of Pentacles. You want commitment, okay? You want stability. You're looking at home, security, okay? Whilst this person here, there was a breakup. There could be a third party situation. Third party situation does not always mean, let me clarify, a romantically person involved here. This is something or someone who is coming in between you guys externally. Person, place, thing, work, career, goals, business, money, uh, money uh, family, anything, okay? But yeah. Because someone's hurt here and you're still hurting with whatever happened here, okay? Hurting over this lack of commitment here. This is what you wanted from this person. Again, a lot of, uh, you know, you probably view this person as someone who could give you this, okay? Or this is what your, at least your intentions were, okay? But unfortunately, you were truly invested into this person is what I'm getting, okay? You were like the rock of the connection, rock of the relationship. You, you're very nurturing, very caring towards them, okay? Wanted something traditional for sure. Very compassionate towards them, okay? But unfortunately, they were not truly invested into you and that's what breaks your heart and this is why all this is happening, okay? Tell me the best possible outcome for Aries for the spread. What is the best possible outcome for Aries for the spread? Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. one second. The cards fell. Okay. Nine of Pentacles in reverse with the Eight of Swords here. Clearly, there is someone here, okay, who's tired of being single here, okay? You could be dealing with someone who was a commitment phobe, okay? Someone who was acting single, being single, okay? And um, someone, you know, who was very all about their money themselves, you know, they would throw themselves into work or someone who was just wanting to be financially independent or more focused on their independence and making a relationship work. Guess what's happening? Someone feels they're better off with you than they are alone, okay? they don't want singlehood anymore that's the outcome here they're realizing and they're ready to focus on relationships rather than being money uh, rather than being focused on the money or materialistic the materialistic aspects however with the eight of swords here i feel this person is someone here who's still still stuck in their head this is a very negative mentality okay the eight of swords is more like uh, operating from fear rather than uh, operating uh, from uh, it's like it's stopping them, okay? This person is definitely stopping their own selves, okay? That's a very negative thinking, you know? They're allowing their negative thoughts to keep them trapped. Although they can't move on from you, they want this with you. But, I, I mean, when it comes to taking action, I don't think they're taking action as yet towards you, okay? But the best possible outcome is this person is probably going to be ready to be in a relationship with you. But again, this is what's stopping them, okay? With the Eight of Swords here. They want this. But they're, they're still not sure, you know. It's like they're thinking about every possible way of how you will say no or how things won't work out with you and them rather than focusing on how it can work out, okay. Because they hurt you bad with the three of swords, you see. Ace of Wands, there is a new beginning here with the eight of wands, you see. There will be communication, but the outcome is that you will be in a relationship or this person's ready to be in a relationship with you. Awesome. I hope this reading resonates with you. Do leave your comments below, like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time, babies. Bye-bye. And babies, bye-bye.